Hi, students. Today, I thought to uh, go over a few things regarding the uh, program Microsoft Word. Because as you know, uh, your first project in ergonomics will be uh, a booklet that you have to uh, first write and then type and uh, basically do the whole design on Microsoft Word. Uh, the tables where you put the information, uh, images, uh, illustrations, everything has to be done uh, on this program the entire booklet. And then, as you know, save it as PDF and uh, send to me on the, when the date of the completion uh, comes. So today, I wanted to go over a few things in uh, Microsoft Word. Now, the intention here is not to uh, teach you the program, okay? Because there is a lot of things uh, to discuss. Uh, if, if we have to go over every detail, uh, this is not the intention here in this class. This is just, uh, this uh, lecture is just to help you a little bit uh, in case you're not very familiar with Microsoft Word. Now I expect everyone to know, to type, uh, to do the general things, but this is just a, for a little bit extra uh, help for you students uh, in case uh, you have a few problems, okay? Now, uh, here I have opened a document in Microsoft Word. Now regarding typing, okay, everybody uh, should know in general how to type, okay, in Microsoft Word. So I will not go over in great detail, but uh, just very quickly, for example, if I'm typing anything, it doesn't matter what, you know, just any text. Okay, so it comes out in a specific uh, font size, okay? So from where you can change the sizes, uh, and the font here, for example, uh, the font type, the font types, okay? Please, my advice, choose always uh, a font that can be easily read. Like for example, Arial, where's the Arial here? Arial, Times New Roman, uh, fonts that can easily be uh, read. Do not choose fonts that are, uh, uh, have a lot of, you know, curves to them, like this one, for example, or other similar ones, or very condensed ones, very hard to read, okay? So choose fonts that are easy to read. Uh, remember the uh, design of the booklet, everything in it, okay? Everything from fonts to the text, to the spaces between the sentences, uh, the colors you choose for your tables, for... Uh, how you organize your photos, how you design the whole page, every page, you know, how it's designed. It's very important. Remember the ergonomics uh, first project booklet. This is actually an ergonomics project on its own. So yes, you are writing information about your uh, tool according to the points that I described. But the design of the booklet is also an ergonomics project. Remember that. So if you're a graphic designer, here comes the opportunity to show the application of ergonomics knowledge in a real uh, project, which is this book, how you design it, okay? From the first to the last page. So to be easily uh, for, easy for reading, easy for understanding, the organization has to be in a way to make the reader comfortable while reading and understanding your uh, information, okay? Uh, and to feel happy. Remember, a happy uh, user. I'm the one who's going to read your books. So if I feel frustrated and angry while reading it, uh, because it's in chaos, then you have failed in this aspect of ergonomics, the design of the book, okay? So even though we are dealing with uh, tools, okay, with the uh, products in uh, this project, the design of the book is uh, actually a graphic design ergonomics project, okay? And uh, you also know that it has a grade on its own for this part, how well you design. Okay, 
Now let's go back to this uh, Microsoft uh, Word program. So we have a text here. We can select the type of font from here, the size from here, okay? Uh, other things, bold, italic, underline, okay? Everything is here, you can find it. I'm just skipping over it very quickly, okay? Uh, the color from here, okay? This is, for example, a red one, okay? Select, we can choose other colors from here, ready ones, okay? Uh, please be careful, do not make the book, how shall I say, um, extremely col colorful, like to use too many colors, because uh, this will go against uh, a correct uh, and clear book design, okay? Choose colors very carefully in specific places, for example, the titles, or you can choose um, the background of the title, okay, to have a background that's colored, but be careful, don't overdo it with colors. Don't put me 10 uh, different colors on e each page. Be very careful. Be careful that the style is consistent throughout, okay, also. I don't want to see each page uh, in a different style than the previous page, because this is a book, one book. Uh, if you remember in uh, basics of design, if you're taking this class with me now or in the past, uh, there is something called unity, unity, uh, principle of design unity. So this book is one uh, unit. It's all these pages are together combined in one book, means how they are going to be designed, it has to be in unity, okay? Maybe unity with some variety, but unity nevertheless. So we cannot have each page in a different design. Okay, be careful. Okay, so color changes from here, as we said. Uh, gradients you can have from here. Uh, but as I said, don't complicate it too much. Uh, okay, now this is for the text. There is a lot more here to discuss, but uh, I'm not going to go over everything. Now, uh, because you're going to write in English, uh, this text has to start from uh, the left, okay? From the left, uh, not from the right. This is from the right for the Arabic. This is for the English, okay? Uh, be careful, don't use centralized for the text, okay? Be, be very careful, except if it's very small uh, information uh, that you want to, to, to make centralized. But the main text, uh, don't centralize. Uh, what other advice I can give you? If you have a lot of text, okay? Um, let me put this here. A lot of text. Do not uh, put a lot of text, text, text together in a page. Always organize, okay? Uh, organize, for example, you can use bullet points, huh? okay? Bullet points that show, for example, each piece of information alone. Or you can maybe surround them with something if they're very different from each other. Or make the, uh, the spaces between each one of the sentences a little bigger uh, because this, this makes uh, reading more easy. Don't overload the page with text, 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 text. Okay, very bad. And try to always balance text and images, text and tables. Okay, I will talk about tables in a minute, uh, how you can uh, approach that. Uh, okay. Let's uh, leave the text now here. Now, uh, a lot of things in your book should be preferably organized into tables. I already discussed this uh, when I uh, explained about the first project. So uh, instead of having text, 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 and images, uh, you should be organizing it in tables. So I will discuss in a minute uh, in case you don't know how to start a table, okay? I will discuss that. 
Uh, before that, let me uh, just, uh, I, re I remember to show you what if you have an image and you want to put it uh, in the presentation. So for example, let me see here. I have a picture, okay, here, this picture, for example. I want to put it in my presentation. You can drag and drop it, okay, like this. Drag and drop. Now, uh, you cannot do a lot of things with this photo. Like if I want to move it, for example, this way or that way with my mouse, I cannot do it easily. You need to do something to modify, uh, to make this more easy. So if I have also text here and uh, I want this image to be, okay, look, I cannot move it. Uh, I can reduce the size of it, okay? Click on it and from the corner, press shift, okay? Now, if you don't press shift, look what happens, okay? You can squish it, which is not a good idea. Control Z, go back. Look, also, this is a bad idea, okay? I don't want to see photos of this type, okay? Now, how to uh, reduce the size proportionally? You go to the corner and you, uh, with this finger, you cl click shift, you press shift and you keep pressing while you reduce the photo, okay? Look, it's going, it's reducing the size, but proportionally. Okay, now, I made it into a size I want, but I still cannot move it around, okay? So, uh, right click on the mouse, okay? Right click on the mouse and on the photo. And here, format picture, format picture, layout. Uh, you have here several options, okay? How to lay out. Now, the, the best one that uh, I usually use uh, in front of text, okay? So it's going to be in front of the text. And now look, you can uh, easily move it. Look, it's going, because it's in front of the text, it's above the text, okay? So you can move it around and you can format the text around it as you want. If you want the text to flow around the photo, you have to choose another one, format picture, uh, layout. Like for example, if you choose this one, see what happens. So it affects uh, the text, it's going around the photo. Uh, I don't find this uh, as useful as the other one format picture, layout, this one, front of text. Okay, I can, uh, so I can put it wherever I want and uh, then I can uh, put the text how I want around the photo, next to it, underneath it, above it, I'm free, okay? So again, at any point you can increase the size of the photo uh, and so on. Um, now, if you have photos that you want to put, which you will have because you will photograph yourself, uh, uh, for example, in the task analysis, you will have to photograph, uh, you will have photos, okay? And you will put the photos in the uh, presentation and you will resize them. You will, uh, now this photo, for example, it needs a border, okay? It, it doesn't look nice like this if we leave it. So uh, how do we put border around the photo? For example, uh, we can do this, insert, okay? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where is this? Ah, uh, shapes, okay? This is an easy way, shapes. And look how many shapes you have here. Let's say, for example, we will choose this here, okay? And I can go to the photo. And I can do this, for example, okay? Now, look what happens, this shape. Uh, it comes with a certain color, with a certain uh, color border and so on. Uh, this thing can be changed at any time, okay? At any time. So from here, before I even get out, if you get out, like if I click here, uh, then I can right click on the shape itself and go to modify. But let us, before I get out of this, modify it. So uh, in here, you will see no fill. No fill means no fill color. If I want a fill color, you know, you can choose the color you want from here. No fill, so I want it empty. Now, the color of this border, you see it's blue and 
This is the fill color. This is the border color. So if I want to change it, click. For example, I want it black, okay, or red. Let's say red, okay. Uh, also, from here, from the same one, uh, look here, there is something called weight. So how thick do you want the line to be? Look, very thin, then going thicker and thicker and thicker, okay? And more if you want. Let's say, for example, I like this, I choose it. Add the color, all from here. Now, if I click here outside of the, you know, the, the shape, and then I say, okay, I, uh, I need to go back and change something, okay? You can, again, click the shape, okay? And again, from here, the same thing, change the uh, colors, the, the weight of the border, everything. So at any time, if you click out, you can always go back by clicking, and all of these will change back to give you this opportunity. Mm -hmm. These are the simplest uh, things. Now, there is a lot of other things you can do here, okay? Uh, but I will go over only the simple things, not to make this a very long lecture. So now we have, now if I want to move the picture with the border, these two are two different things. So if I want to move this look, this is what will happen. You need to uh, select both of them. So this shift, okay, and the border. Mm -hmm. So click on the picture, click shift and click on the border. And now, oops, sorry. For some reason, it doesn't select. Let me see what's happening here. For some reason, it doesn't. It should. It should be able to select uh, this and the image together, so you can move them around together. Well, at this moment, I don't know what's going on, but usually when you click uh, together, shift, and you select other elements, it should uh, move together alone. Anyway, not a big deal. Now, uh, okay, let's go now to the, uh, what, do you, what do you call this, the, um, the tables. Yes, so if I want to make a table, there are also options, okay? Now, let me delete this photo and this border here. Okay, again, we will go to insert and there is two options. Now I will go over insert table, okay? First, and I explain this uh, in quickly and then we will go to the next option. So insert table. Now look here, look what happens when I move my mouse on top of this. So how many rows you want, how many, uh, so how, how do you want to divide the table? Look here. Now I'm dividing the vertical ones. If I go down, I'm putting more rows, horizontal rows, okay? When I go this way, the, the vertical divisions uh, come out. H how many do you want? Okay, you choose. This is a very basic, simple table uh, already here available. If you want to draw a table, okay? Look here, there is draw table. I want to, to draw my own uh, table, okay? So uh, click and drag, click and drag, okay? Like for example, this size. Of course, you can change the size at any time. Uh, now, when I click this way and this way, look, lines come out. So for example, no, here I don't want. Here, for example, then the vertical divisions, again, click and drag down. For example, okay. Now I want to change a few things about this table. I don't uh, like, for example, the uh, the color. One second. Let me see. Here. Okay. 
Okay, from this here corner, do you see this corner that appears? If you click on it, right click, okay? Right click on it. Again, select, right click. Then we have here, uh, where is this here? Uh, again, let me check here. There should be border. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Borders and shading. Okay, borders and shading. So right click, select the corner, right click, then borders and shading, and you will get this uh, table. From here, you can uh, change the color. For example, right now it's in red. So we can uh, choose another color, for example. The, uh, this line selected, which is a double line, we don't want it. Let's say uh, I want to select this line, okay? Uh, and say, okay. Oh, okay. So let's go back here. Borders and shading. Where is the color? Okay, we, we want this color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we selected the green and I selected this kind of border. For example, I don't like it. Again, go back, right click, borders and shading. Now, uh, for example, I think the line is too thin. Okay, it's too thin. I want a thicker line. Then I will go to this. Uh, I can make it thicker. Okay, well, this is too thick. <laughs> okay, like this, for example, and say, okay, and look at it. Okay, I like, I don't like. Okay, so again, go back borders and shading. So from here, we can change uh, a lot of the things, the colors, the, uh, uh, the type of line, if we just want one line, the uh, color, the, uh, sorry, the, uh, the thickness of the line also. Okay, so you can change a lot of things about your uh, table this way. Shading, let's try this one and see what will happen. Um, the shading, it, it puts uh, the color inside the table as a, as a background, okay? Uh, this being said, be careful what colors you choose, okay? Uh, ergonomically, it's not a good idea to choose how shall I say, very bright colors. Like for example, this yellow that we put here, it's a very bright color, okay? It can make, uh, when someone reads the text, which will be inside the table, it can make the eyes painful, okay? So it's not a good idea to choose extremely bright colors for, uh, especially when the surface is very large. For small things, okay, but not for large surfaces, okay? Be careful. Uh, okay, now you can also change a little bit about the sizes. Okay, like for example, you can click here with the mouse, uh, right click and drag. You see if I drag what happens, okay? So your table, the cells in the table, can you can change the size of them, uh, the way uh, you want to modify the table. Uh, now, here you can put, if you click again with the mouse, you can put text inside. Okay, oops, control Z. Okay. You can uh, change the size of the text at any point. Okay, small, big, whatever. If I click here, the same. For example, okay. And 
result, you can again, you can modify the text as if it's a normal text outside of the box. So I want, for example, this one to be bold. Uh, I want this uh, to go in the middle, for example, of this uh, cell here, which is this one, okay? I want to centralize this, okay? So you can do a lot of things with the text inside of each uh, of these cells. Now, let's delete this one and try to, uh, to make a table in different way, in a different way. From insert, we have shapes again, okay? Shapes. So from here, I can do a lot of other things. Uh, again, I can draw a table. So I can click on uh, a shape and I can draw, for example, uh, the starting of my uh, table. Again, I can change the color, for example, the fill color, for example, no fill. Uh, I want the uh, outline color to be, for example, uh, this. And I want it to be in a certain thickness, like this, for example. And OK, so this is good enough. Now, I want to divide it in a certain way. So this is more a manual way of doing it. Again, insert uh, shapes. I can select the line, OK? So with the line, now look, uh, you need to press shift so that the line doesn't go uh, at an angle, OK? So you need, while, while drawing the line, while drawing the line, you need to press shift, okay? So it, it can be straight. And for example, I want to divide another line, insert shapes line, for example, another line here. Now, you need to be careful that the lines are, uh, you know, uh, going in a centralized way and uh, for example this to be equal to this but this is when you make the table in a very careful way uh, now for example these lines i want to change something about them select okay select and then if i want to select several things i press shift and i click uh, click 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 whatever i want to press while i'm pressing shift and uh, then i can change for example the uh, weight of the lines okay I can change the weight of these uh, lines. Uh, I can change the color, okay? So you can make a lot of modifications uh, to, to this, like, like the border, so the other objects. Each of this is now viewed as an object on its own, okay? That at any time I can select and move, okay? I can move it the way I see suitable. So, uh, now, if I want to put a text, okay, here, this is different than the previous table that we discussed. I cannot just click here and put text because it will be like this, okay? Uh, because this is a manual uh, table that I made. So I need to do something else. From insert, I can go to text box, okay? Text box. I select the most simple one, which is this. Uh, forget about this one, you can delete it, and you can write your own text. Now, you can make the text box the shape and size you want. For example, I want it to be like this. So now if I click here inside and I write the text, okay, it follows the text box you selected, the size of it. Uh, now, careful because the text box, look at it, it has also a border. So we don't want the black border. So you can select it and let me see here, format shape. Line color. No line, okay? We don't want a border around the text. Okay, now look. No uh, black border around the text box. Now this, for example, text, I can, you can move it around the way you like, and you can resize the box the way you want. Like, for example, I want this text uh, not here, but here to put it. 
So you can do that, okay? So you can move the text box wherever you want uh, on the page. And of course, change the size, change the, uh, the color again, the way uh, you want to do that. If you see it's too big, for example, maybe you need to make it smaller uh, and so on. So, just finish this. So this is the manual way, okay, of doing uh, a table, okay? Now there is other things, nice things uh, here in the insert uh, shapes. Let me uh, take the text box down, or let's put it here, for example. Huh? Uh, shapes, there is a lot of other shapes here, if you notice. So for example, we can have this kind of shape. Huh? This type of stuff, okay? Now here, again, you can change the feeling, the fill color and the uh, outline color. So for example, this is the fill color. The outline color. No outline, for example, we don't want just the fill color. Okay. Uh, Now, these things you can move around, you can reshape. You can reshape in a certain way. Make it shorter, make it, uh, okay. So you can reshape them. And you can move around as you uh, want. So for example, if you have an image here, and you want to put uh, some of these signs, okay, here, mm -hmm. and then you have a certain text from this size, uh, you can do that, okay? And you can play around, move them around the page the way uh, you want. Uh, just one moment, because there is uh, someone on the door, okay? I need to open. One moment, I will come back. Okay, sorry about that. And you can uh, actually try out the other shapes. So uh, insert shapes, there's so many other things you can try, but don't make it too complicated. You know, uh, just uh, keep it simple, but keep it professional. Don't uh, put too many colors, too many shapes together. Just be careful what you use, okay? And you can uh, make very beautiful tables with uh, text, with images, and uh, always, always, when you can put something in a table, put it in a table. We don't want to see uh, a lot of text and then put an image and then text and image. This is not a good way, okay? It's very, very uh, disorganized. Always organize a beautiful table, put images, uh, put the information next to the image or under the image. It depends. There are so many designs you can do. Uh, check out uh, other students' uh, words on the uh, on the Facebook page, a student works design, okay? You can see from other semesters how students uh, uh, organize tables uh, in general, okay? To, to get an idea, but keep it simple, keep it professional, okay? Don't overload the page uh, with the 
a lot of shapes, a lot of uh, colors, a lot of uh, uh, strange uh, font types, okay? So keep it simple and professional in general. But this is some advice that uh, uh, I can give you about the Microsoft Word program in case you didn't know that uh, you have these uh, options here. So uh, I hope this was a little helpful in case you uh, you're a first time user of this uh, program. And of course, experiment, check what other options you have here before you start your uh, project. Okay, so this is it uh, for now. Uh, thank you for watching and good luck with your uh, project. <laughs>